What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. Thank you for joining me and clicking on this one today. I have something that originally I wasn't going to post, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, <laughs> this is really, uh, really dumb, but it was also, uh, half of it was a neat experience and the other half, we'll get to it. Um, let's just put it that way. We'll get to it. In the beginning, I go out with one of my very good friends, his wife and his nephew and some of his co-workers. We go out on a guided bow fishing trip on Lake Whitney and we had a blast. Didn't shoot a whole lot of fish, didn't, unfortunately didn't see a whole lot of fish, um, but the water's just super hot at this particular time whenever we went out. And we had just had a, a little bit of rain and it kind of muddied up the water just a little bit. So it made it even more difficult, but anyway, I'm going to roll these clips for you guys. I know they all like watching the bow fishing, so you guys go ahead and check it out. And I don't even think, uh, I killed like two fish in this video, but the one, the first or the second one that I shot, I didn't ha even have the GoPro rolling, so I missed it. And then there was one other that I can't seem to find. So, um, anyway, enjoy some of the, basically me just filming everyone around me shooting some fish. It's actually really good, so I'll let y'all go ahead and, and dive into this real quick and then we'll get to the other half. Somebody got him. Who hit him? Nobody. Oh. No, I missed him. Nope. He went that way. Those ones right at the boat are hard to hit. Don't worry, no water up there. Oh, yeah, nice. Throw them in the bucket right there. What? Throw them in that trash can. Oh yeah, you gotta take a picture first. Good shot. Right. You got him. Get him, get him, honey. Okay, so what I'm fixing to show you occurred, I don't know, I'd say probably halfway through our trip. We had moved spots and we went up into a marina and there was a houseboat on the left side 
and there was a point that comes out on the right side. Well, there was people that were on the houseboat over here to the left side, and then there was people fishing over here on the right side. Well, we come into the marina, and like most marinas, there are no wake buoys out there. And we were coming in slow. We weren't making a wake. We were doing absolutely nothing wrong. Here's the interesting part. This is the part that I laughed at in this uh, video. But I don't have footage, unfortunately, of us going into this marina that I can find. And as we're going into the marina, we're getting hollered at from both sides of the bank. And like I said, I don't have the footage from this unless I just happen to dig it up. If I do, I'll, I'll roll it in for you guys. But we're going into the marina and both sides of the bank, the big houseboat, the big yacht, and then the folks on the bank on the other side are yelling at us, slow, you don't need to slow down, you don't need to slow down. Now, first of all, we were going slow. We were doing what we were supposed to be doing. We weren't making a wake. And secondly, both the folks on both sides of the banks were very intoxicated, which added to the this climatic situation. So we actually just go past them. We don't listen to them. We don't look at them. They're cussing us out. They're making a big deal, a big scene. And we go up into this creek and we stay for probably 20 minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer. And we come back out because we're like, you know what? We're not messing with them. We didn't want to be around those people. And we also didn't see any fish. I mean, I think we may have shot like one or two fish up in that creek. So it wasn't worth it. We we're going to change spots. Well, as we're coming back out, and I'm going to watch this with you guys right here, like basically real time. And this guy starts yelling at us. And he's he's like, hey. And he's telling us to stop the boat. And he's cussing us. And he's making this big scene. And we're like, well, first of all, we can tell that he's extremely drunk, which isn't a good idea in the first place. And to make things even better about this whole situation is if you look, if you look in here, and, and the way that it's zoomed in for me is if you look in the top right hand corner of that screen where we're sitting right now, I'll have it freeze frame for you guys, and I'll try to zoom it in. But this guy, so he's standing on the right side up towards the front of the boat, and his son is on the boat, who's no older than 14, 15 years old. What a great example you're being for your son, dude. Get drunk, start yelling at people, and do it with your son on the boat. That's just, that's great. So, <laughs> this is it, this is what's what gets really, really dumb right here, is we're completely respectful. Nobody on the boat, except for the, the captain, the guy that's guiding us, and he, he's the only one that speaks to this guy, and, he, and he's completely nice to him and respectful and this guy's cussing us and the guy driving the boat looks over at the dude and he's like okay dude uh, have a good evening S see you later have a good night have a good night and we're just trying to get out of there and this dude <laughs> this guy and his son which i know it's not his son's fault but this guy we're leaving we, we come out of the we come out of the marina and right at, now i'm gonna catch up to this real quick let me skip forward here. Okay, so now where I'm looking is right here. As we're leaving, you, if you look right up in the middle of the screen and kind of to the right, you guys see that little white looking thing out there? That's a buoy. That's a buoy marker that says no wake. Right there on the right, I just paused it, right there on the right in the top right hand corner of the screen, you see that, that white buoy right there? So we are headed out of the marina and I shut the camera off and Whenever I shut the camera off is literally right at the time we're even with the buoys. Well, we go past them. We never make a wake. There's people fishing. We're trying to be respectful, even though they're cussing at us and they're drunk and whatever else. We go get out of the marina, and after we're past those buoys, we get up on plane and leave, and we take off. Perfectly legal. It's okay to do that. So we, we get out there, and we weave back through this cove, and we get out of Uncle Gus's marina, and we're headed back towards the main lake, towards the island out there. 
And we had been up on plane for at least a solid five minutes. I mean, we were out of, we were completely out of the marina. We were in main lake open water. And as we're cruising, I start we turn around and we start seeing lights behind us. And we're like, no way it's this dude chasing us down in his boat. No way. First of all, he shouldn't have done it. I mean, he shouldn't have been as disrespectful as he was. And that's the, besides the point. He shouldn't have been out in the boat anyway and being as intoxicated as he was. And we finally, we stopped the boat out in the middle of the lake. We're in like 40 foot of water, 30 foot of water right here. And we stop and this dude catches up. And he had been chasing us forever. And if I think if it had been me, I would have just kept going. But our captain stopped to talk to him. This dude pulls right up on top of us and starts yelling at us. Turn your boat off, turn your boat off, blah, blah, blah. I mean, just throwing a fit. pretty good ways i mean i think we're up over a mile from that marina at this point i'd have to look on my maps we may be further than that we're a long ways from the marina at this point in time and this guy is just tearing into us and i think they're mad they don't like bow fishers which is fine like you don't have to like us but we're not breaking any laws we're not coming through there on, I mean, we're not on an airboat, so it's not like we're just making wind and messing up the fishing and being loud and all that stuff. No, we're in a regular outboard. And our captain's like, we can't hear you, we can't hear you. It was windy out there. His boat was running, our boat was running. We're making all kinds of waves and stuff. I mean, we just came off a plane and stopped and let this dude catch up to talk to us. And he yells at us, and while he's hollering at us, he's like, don't ever come into my marina like that again and blah, blah, blah. Now, I don't know if you can own a marina or not, or who owns it, or if that guy even does own it, or if he's just making it up. I don't know. I don't know who owns that marina, but regardless of whether he owned it or not, he was not making it look very good. Like, for me personally, I will never go, if this guy does own that marina, which I'm not sure if he does or not, but until I can prove that, and if I do prove that to be true, I'm not going to go to that marina and spend money there or pay to launch my boat there because that kind of behavior right there was completely uncalled for. It was dangerous. Not only was it dangerous for him because he was drunk and it was dark and it was like midnight, but he also decided to take his you know, teenage son out there on the boat with him and then start hollering at us and chase us down on the lake. Like That's just very immature and very dangerous. And then... Um, I think the most important thing to note here is the fact that he decided to drag his son out there with him and I kept looking at his son and just kind of paying close attention to him and his face is wide as a sheet he's embarrassed so it's just a it's just a mess man like don't be this guy and I'm making an example of him not because I don't do any wrong because I do wrong all the time I screw up I'm a sinner I make mistakes but let's just with everything that's going on in the world right now, let's just be nice to each other. And we're not breaking any rules. We weren't breaking any laws. We weren't messing up their fishing. We stayed away from them. We weren't hurting anybody. We're allowed to come through there with our lights on. We're allowed to bow fish in there. We're allowed. It's public water. You don't own the water, buddy. And I hope that you are watching this because I'm local and so are you. I live like 10 minutes from the lake, 15 minutes from the lake. So you know who you are if you're watching. 
and I don't appreciate that nobody else on the boat did and you've kind of put a damper on our evening and it is what it is. We laughed it off. I'm going to laugh it off right now because it was just really dumb. This dude's like in his 40s. Grow up, people. Don't be this kind of person. And I'm not perfect by any means. Nobody is. But come on, man. Like, I just thought I would bring this to you for a little bit of entertainment because I personally find it hilarious. But, I, I mean, I don't find it hilarious. I mean, his actions and the things that he did weren't smart and they put a lot of different people in danger but the fact that a 40 some odd year old man is so immature is that sucks and but you know what it's just funny to me because how do you get anyway just the way you're raised i guess or it was all just the liquid courage all just the alcohol talking who knows but uh yeah whatever it is what it is <laughs> it's over now and uh i'm glad everyone ended up safe that night but we did have a good time and we did a um really enjoy our evening of bow fishing and i think we ended up with six fish or seven fish in the boat we bow fished um till a little after midnight i think we made one more stop after this little encounter here and we're like all right we're getting out of here <laughs> we're not shooting any fish so we'll just call it quits for the evening but yeah don't be this guy don't be this guy be nice Everybody be nice. And this world would be a whole lot better place because of it. So now that uh, that's all said and done, I'm going to finish editing this video so you guys can watch it and enjoy it. Hopefully just as much as I did. Share this video if you did enjoy it. Leave me a big thumbs up. And hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell right there next to it. Drop a comment down below and tell me what you think about this situation. And if you've ever been in an encounter like this before on the water. Let's hear about them. Let's, let's just hear about them and uh, make some light of these situations that are uncalled for and unnecessary, but kind of silly. I'm not condoning the man's actions in any way, but, or anyone else's that drops comments down below, I'm not condoning their action because that was irresponsible. But let's talk about it, get a giggle out of it. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm going to go get ready to stick a pig this afternoon. So I'm going to shut this camera off and uh, say goodbye. Y'all are awesome. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in just a couple days.